Black Clover Mobile has a lot of good qualities to it. It really does. The game is generally pretty good. But I'm pretty done with it. At least for now. Korean JP has been out for... Well, how long has it been? Actually, I should have checked that before recording the video. A little while, you know. Not long enough that I'm like, oh my god, it's been so long. But long enough that I'm like, okay, I, I played this a good amount. It's been since May 25th. It's about to be two months. It's uh, one month and 50 days. And here are my reasons why I'm not going to continue playing. And why I might come back when Global comes out. All right. I've been playing the game every single day. And if you count the times where it's just kind of on my iPad farming, which is 97% of the time, like about 12 hours a day. And you may think, oh, so you just burned out of the game. Not really. It's not a fact of burning out of the game. It's more like I've been playing the game 12 hours a day and my account has not progressed since the first two weeks. Let me give you an example. So, I have one gear set of full LR gear with main stat magic, which is a very very high thing at the current moment. Like, it's a very difficult thing to attain right now. And this has been my set since Licked came out. Licked's release date was when I got this set done, and I have not been able to replicate it since. And I don't mean like, oh, I haven't got enough good substats, or I haven't got gears that I actually want. I just mean having the main set, because, like, this is garbage. <laughs> I have lifesteal gear and precision gear or whatever the name of the thing is on a dps character that once like pierce and crit damage i can't have those ma those stats because simply impossible to get gear in this game so my problem is i every day every single day i go in the coin shop i buy all the stem that you can buy. They added how much more stem that you buy, so it's cool. Whenever there is like one of these shops right here, I buy whatever stem is allowed here, like uh, like this one. You can buy all the stem, and I was farming gear and all the stem possible every day. I would even buy stem with crystals like three times a day. All of it, I would just farm gear non-stop every single day. The last time I got a usable gear was like four weeks ago. I, I don't even mean a good gear. I mean a usable gear. That is insane. Because I have played through a gacha game that has gear hell. It's called Epic 7. <laughs> but the difference being is that in that game, the reason why it's gear hell is because you are chasing Perfect substats on the gears. So you go upgrade the gear and you're like praying, praying that it goes plus four speed, plus four speed, plus four speed. No, we went on flat defense. And then you break the gear. <laughs> that is play epic seven. And this game is so another level of gear hell that I can't even afford to think about the substats on my gear. All I can beg for is please give me one gear! One! I farmed for 12 hours today, please give me one usable gear! Please, one main stat magic gear! No, I got a defense main stat. It's useless. It's useless. I've... I've this is the LR gears I have, right? I've uh, used a few of them as material to make these uh, accessories, which I have no LRs of, by the way, zero. Um, but yeah, it, I have a bunch, and most of them are useless. All the ones that are unequipped are because they're useless. Because, like this right here, I can't make a set with this. Because I, I have a magic one and an attack one, but characters don't use both. They use one or another. And this one, this is my one... Gold crit damage piece. Sorry, crit chance. One. I have one. I farmed this for three weeks straight. 
And when I say I farm this for two weeks straight, I mean overnight. I farmed it during the day. Anytime that I was awake or asleep, the game was farming. This is the one piece I got. The substats are not even that good. Flat magic, flat HP, crit chance percentage is good, but I just can't even afford to think of the substats because getting the gear is so hard. And I come at this like, this is me who is farming the game non-stop. I am spending so much time out of my day like returning the because you can't even infinitely grind gear. You have to put 50 at a time. There's a trick actually. I don't care to tell you. They, they might pass this because I'm gonna say, but I don't care. So you can technically only farm 50 at a time. It maxes out at 50. But if one of your characters is not max level, they have to be all, either not max level or not max uh, friendship. You can actually you can actually <laughs> use this and you you go infinitely until your stem, stamina is done. So it's like I I need to keep redoing it, right? Reapplying it. And this constant thing, I'm done. I'm just done. Now let's talk about the other aspects of the game. Uh, PvP. I last week, before I stopped playing, got top 100. I was gonna go for top 50, but I sorry in the middle of the week I, I started thinking about not even playing as much. I just sk skipped a few days. I got top 100 last season. By that I mean I got top 50 a few weeks. I got top 100. I got top 200 a week and then top 100 another week. So I I play the game a ton. I, I play PvP. And this season is. Do you remember? You know, for, uh, most of you are Grand Cross players. So remember when Purgatory Bond came out? And the game was like unplayable. This is right now Black Clover. It's very sad because you know you expect the PvP games eventually get to that point where some characters are so overpowered that you kind of need to have them. No, I is so overpowered. It it makes the game so boring. This is every team. They have this piece of shit. Oh, his name that goes first and boosts up Noel. Noel goes, she ults. That's every team. And I don't mean like, oh, the meta's bad, that's why I'm quitting the game. No, that's not why I'm quitting the game. But it adds to it, you know? Like if the meta was bad, but the rest of the game wasn't such a whole lot of nothing at the current moment, then I'll think about it continuing, but the meta is bad. I don't want to play PvP. Like, I just don't want to. Like, I, just, I don't want to go through playing these Noels. And I have to use my Noel, of course. It's just boring as hell. Doesn't, I mean, let's not even talk about the fact that this is the worst form of PvP. This is, I'm checking which team the bot has and I attack the bot. They seemingly don't have any plans for real-time PvP. It would add actually like a lot of replay replayability to the game. Real time PvP is actually entertaining to watch. As a content creator, recording videos on this form of PvP is just so depressing. It's just so depressing. It's not. And even if I'm playing a bot on Grand Cross, which is very sad as well, but <laughs> it's not 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 saying it's that much better, but. I, don't, I won't know it's a bot until I click a card. And, you know, here I know it's a bot. I, I know I'm not facing a real player. And I'm like, I have 96% win ratio. Last week, last season, sorry, I had a 99% win ratio. I only lost times, or even now, I only lose times where my Lotus doesn't land what he's supposed to land because debuffs in this game are percentage based, not guaranteed. Unless you're facing a real. Um, but if my Lotus doesn't land a single debuff, then I lose. Or even then, he can he can still do it and I, still, I can still win, but a lot, a lot of times I lose. It's like... It's impossible to lose when you know what your enemy is using, and they ha they're an AI. Right? They're an AI. Right now, guilds are useless. You only log in to get a reward. Um, and that's it. Like the, that's really it. I know they're gonna add Guild Wars, but we don't even know how good Guild Wars will be. If it's like Epic 7, then great. 
because Epic Savage Guild Wars is the reason why I was still playing the game until this game came out. You know, I quit Epic Savage to play this game. <laughs> I quit. I quit Epic Savage to play this game. So, you know, the reason why I still played Epic Savage was because of Guild Wars. It could be better if they do add a decent form of Guild Wars into this game. But for now, it's a whole lot of grinding that feels like for no reason. I think you can you can see where I'm getting at when I talk about, you know, facing IMPP, there's no Guild Wars. There's a whole lot of grinding. I'm, gr I'm grinding 12 hours a day for no reason. For what reason am I doing this? For the seasonal boss? You mean the most boring activity in the game that you auto? This is an auto activity. It takes 30 turns. This is an auto activity. This one's a little bit better, but I'm still autoing it. This thing... These activities are not exciting. This this one's kind of cool. I'll give, it, I'll give it to this one. I like this one. But you know, I stopped in the middle of it because I was... I just didn't really want to continue playing. Everything in this game is just auto. And so... What am I really grinding for? PvP? PvP is never exciting. There's no real time. It's just find, fighting AI. And everyone has the same gear. Everyone has the same gear because it's what we can't use. So... It's not like I can gear gap anyone. It's not like I can make a an interesting PvP team combo that no one's using. I'm big braining it. Because uh, it's AI. It's AI. They're not gonna be <laughs> they're not gonna be tricked by my expertise. It's AI, you know? And if, like I'm saying, like I can't even gear gap anyone for because oh my god, I grind so much. Um, everyone has the same shitty gear. No, if you grinded almost nothing, and if you grinded 12 hours a day, we likely have the same gear. Or maybe if you grinded nothing, you probably have UR gear, which is so much worse than LR gear. To give you an example, you know, again, when you're farming the gear stage, you get about one LR piece every 100 runs, and it's mostly like a defense main style one. This is a max leveled magic piece, right? It has 1900 magic. So it's a, it's a straight up one. Let's take an equivalent. This is an unleveled LR gear and it has 2000. So an unleveled LR gear has more magic than a leveled up UR gear. So if you have UR gear, there's no reason why you'd use that. Because once you get an LR counterpart, it's gonna completely... <laughs> Destroy that piece. There's no reason why using a UR gear. So, all that grinding and getting the UR gears and leveling up the UR gears is pointless. Completely pointless. Because you're, you're barely getting LR gears. So, you tell yourself, oh, I should have leveled up the UR gears then because it's the best I have. But then you're like, but then I'm going to waste resource upgrading a gear that is infinitely worse. Because, like, look, a straight-up one is, like, 3,000 magic. It's a 1,000 more. Oh, sorry, 2,000 more. It's 2,000 more magic. Oh, it is a 1,000 more. I'm stupid. It is a 1,000 more. For some reason, I thought it was 3,900. It is, it is a 1,000 more. It adds up when you have freaking uh, seven pieces, right? So, Global has a lot of promise. I can't go too much into why because uh i told i was told not true but global has a lot of promise and from the get-go will probably be better than jp it's really weird because it really seems like the jp slash korea devs don't give a shit it's harsh for me to say that but it, it, that's what it sounds like and the for what i've heard from what i've been i've been hearing the global ones do, which is so weird. That's usually the opposite, right? It's <laughs> that's that it's usually the opposite. Usually the JP slash Korea devs give a shit and the global ones don't. So uh if they release Guild Wars, I might watch a video on someone else's channel. But I think this is it for Move Black Clover. Until Global comes out.
And when the global comes out, we'll see. If the game is better, like it's looking to be better, I'll, I'll continue playing. But we'll, we'll see.